EF student, I'm Serena, I'm Italian and today I'm guest blogging for EF. I've been living in London for the past two years and it's been amazing. I have a passion for photography and social media and today I would like to share with you my favorite spots in the city which are also very good for some Insta-worthy photo shoots. But let's start with my number one favorite spot in London, which is Hampstead. Um, not many of you may know it, but it's quite popular here. Hampstead has a very unique British style <laughs> with some uh, historical and picturesque spots. You can also find a huge park called Hampstead Heath which is perfect for a sunny day stroll or some cottage core style photo shoots. If you're a history fan, in the middle of the park you'll find Kenwood House, 18th century mansion with stunning artwork and amazing architecture. The house comes with a lovely cafe where you can enjoy some traditional tea and scones. This neighborhood has been featured in many many other TV shows and movies. One of them is Hampstead with Diane Keaton. And next we go to my number two location, which is the neighborhood of Shoreditch. Going east, you'll find a complete change of scenery. Shoreditch is the perfect neighborhood for art and fashion. I often go there during the week because my co-working is also there. There are a lot of co-workings and cool cafes. But if you decide to check on Shoreditch, you can find their Brick Lane, home of the famous market and many, many vintage clothing shops. Another place I love to spend my time is the Rough Trade Store, uh, which is a super famous uh, record shop and it's so cool. I definitely suggest you to check it out. Shoreditch is filled with amazing street art, which makes it the perfect location for a urban style photo shoot. Number three, another totally different neighborhood, South Kensington. You'll find the difference between neighborhood in the east, which are more uh, youthful and modern, and neighborhood in the west, which are more posh and classic. South Kensington is one of the fancy <laughs> posh west neighborhood, and I, I lived there for a year and it was amazing. You can find everything you need there from the cool cafe and also the natural history museum which by the way gives the strongest Harry Potter Hogwarts vibes. This area, South Kensington, Gloss Road and if you walk a little bit further um, Mayfair, it's really really loved by English bloggers and they go there to take pictures in front of the most famous cafes. One of them is Peggy Portion Bakery. It's a kingdom of sugar and pink. But I really love what they do with their front store and I can see why it's so magnetic to so many Instagrammers here. Number four, a bit similar to Shoreditch, if I may, it's Camden Town, which is really popular among tourists. It's an alternative neighborhood filled with uh, punk rock history. Everybody usually just check the market, but if you walk a bit around the neighborhood, you'll find amazing street art. There are also many, many cool places to eat, and one of them I may suggest is Mildred. Uh, it's a vegetarian restaurant. Number five, a bit further south, it's Kew Gardens. I really love plants and nature, and Kew Gardens, it's literally by Wikipedia, a botanical garden that houses the largest and most diverse botanical and mycological collections in the world. My number one spot here for photo shoots is the Palm House, which was built in the mid 1800s and it's so exotic and Victorian and I don't know, it's perfect. But by the way, Kew Gardens, it's really huge and I'm sure you'll find plenty of places to take amazing photos here. So those were my favorite spots in London to take photos. Of course, if you walk around the city, you'll find many, many, many more. But I think those are my kind of un unmissable ones. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to EF channel and check the other travel guides from all around the world, as well as everything EF. You also find my channel link in the description if you want to check out my content and I hope you have an amazing day and definitely think about visiting London because it's the best city in the world, at least for me. <laughs> Ciao!